problematic would be when you have non transgender persons playing transgender characters that's a huge topic right now we are debating that uh, because if male characters are played by male mem- male actors and female characters are played by female actors why should transgender characters be played by cis male or cis female actors no so it should be played by transgender actors per se i mean it's a given no because nobody can portray a transgender person like a transgender person so i think the most successful has been badai do which is the last last year's release uh, uh last yeah last year's release and that has been i think uh, pretty much a, a focus on the lgbtq relationship there was a gay man there was a lesbian uh, woman and pretty much out in the open kind of portrayal there was no hiding the situation at all uh, that is a huge improvement as i said from the 1990s portrayal where things were very whispered closeted stereotype gay and lesbian people and especially the, the uh, bumi petnekar's character and her partner's character were pretty much uh, very very comfortable with their sexuality which is amazing you know mainstream cinema might still be dictated by box office uh, uh, dictates but i think ott platforms have taken the lead and have uh, basically uh, showing the way by having very inclusive character uh, lgbtq portrayals in most of the uh, 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 in most of the ott shows and for transgender individual love is so challenging because the way they personify themselves the way they uh, uh, um, the way they are i mean people might uh, or not be kind of comfortable with who they are for them finding love is very challenging they're beautiful people if you find love with them it will stay for sure but uh, for transgender people and also transgender people have a lot more uh, anxiety in their basic necessities are not met with love is far away no they do not have jobs they do not have right to education uh, they do not have housing facilities most of the housing societies refuse to give uh, a space for transgender person we need to have rights over each other's assets right over each other's uh, property right over each other's bodies when i say bodies like suppose my partner is ill god forbid it is not but if it's false ill i'm not able to go to the hospital and sign for a surgical procedure because only family members can you know, or kids and kin can so only when i get married to that person i can sign for the person in the hospital and that's a stupid thing why should i call my brother who's living so far away from me to come and sign you know instead of my partner signing for me right next to me he's been with me forever 